up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. is palpable. On one side, you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. Strong knee attempt, but it's blocked. And they separate. Just misses with that one. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. They're certainly getting after it early. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here. Tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. Nice double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get got blasted. Lombard. He's attacking it on it. He's attacking Armbar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. He got him! What a performance! Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately forced the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. To claim the winner by tap out, Grandmaster! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything...